Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to my class on Server Plus, and this is an overview of your first assignment for the class. Uh, in this course, we're going to be considering an overview. Uh, that'll be the first class today. Network Components, Class 2 and 3, Installation, Configuration, Upgrading, Proactive Maintenance, Environment, Troubleshooting, and Disaster Recovery. Very good topics, a 10-week course, and we'll be going over each one of these each week. Uh, for this class today, we're going to start off with what is a network. And so you want to read through my notes. I'm going to email those to you. And you'll be learning about different network topologies as well, such as a bus network, star network, ring network, and mesh network. Now, the king of CompTIA training on the web is Professor Messer. And so throughout this training, we'll actually be looking at a number of his videos. Now, he does not do Server Plus, but I'll be using some of his videos, pulling in some of his videos for some of the aspects of Server Plus, but I'll also be adding a ton of my own resources, information, and write-ups throughout the course. Uh, and here's a number of videos if we want to start off just looking at a network. You might go, what does a network has to do with Server Plus? Everything, because the server is the central hub, in a sense, of your network system. So we're not just looking at the heart, but the veins that go into the heart, and that's your network right there. So uh, make sure you watch his four videos here on uh, common network devices, specialized network devices, advanced switching technologies, and finally uh, on uh, implementing a wireless network. Next, we want to talk about two uh, very important networks, and that's a peer-to-peer -peer and server-centric network. And you can learn all about those. Of course, you know, peer-to-peer, -peer, they share security. And there's a number of issues with that. I typically do a lot of work with uh, server-centric networks, uh, and big organizations use those where you have a central controlling network system. Below this, uh, in the notes, I have the pros and cons of a server-based network and the pros and cons of a peer-to-peer -peer network. Let's go a little bit further. Of course, new to the scene is cloud computing, and cloud computing is uh, an internet-based computing where the shared resources, software, and information are provided to computers and other devices, kind of like an electricity grid. So read all about that. There's a nice little graphic below here on uh, a cloud computing. A lot of people are using this now. It's very popular. There are also pros and cons. Uh, I've got to talk a little bit about server categories. I want to end up on this for this uh, internet assignment today. Uh, make sure you read through this right here and uh, learn all about the different categories of servers. I have a number of links below this that I want you to click on, but let me just say this. Regardless, as you learn more about Server Plus and as you move up in server maintenance, you're going to eventually end up in a server room. And in the server room, you're going to find many racks of computers that you'll be, in a sense, maintaining, uh, installing servers, updating servers, upgrading servers, and doing disaster recovery and all the things that you'll do and learn about in this course. So this graphic is very appropriate. Um, I've typically worked in universities in server rooms such as this. That's been my exposure to it. But this is not untypical to all of what's happening in corporate America today as far as uh, Server Plus is concerned. Uh, so below here are a number of links I want you to click on and just go through uh, the, how servers can be used. We think of a server many times as just one uh, entity sitting there doing one specific function, but that's not true. Servers do many things. There are server computers, application servers, communication servers, database servers, fax servers, file servers, game servers, home servers, newsreader servers, name servers, print servers, proxy servers, sound servers, web servers, web feed servers, uh, there's a peer to peer video servers, and media servers. So make sure you click on each one of those links, read about the server roles, and then I'll see you in the next class, and we'll start with network components. So thanks for listening. This is your class assignment. And this was Mike Lively, and I'll see you in the cloud.